What's going on guys, Sean Gus here back with another video. In this video guys, we're gonna be doing a high taper with a little baby fro on top. He will have kind of a hook part in the front and we're gonna do some enhancements and some razor work. Turns out super crispy, so I hope you guys enjoy it, but let's get right into it. Alright, we're gonna get right into this cut. This is a number four closed. We're gonna take it against the grain and then we're gonna work all different directions until the top is cut down nice and even to a number four and then we can start on a taper. Starting off with the slim lines like normal, I'm gonna do an arch shape. If you guys can see kind of where the transition is to the dark hair or the longer hair, we're gonna do an arch in the same shape. From the bottom of the vertical bar to the top of the ear, we'll go ahead and ball all that out and then come in with our shaver and get it all the way down the skin before our first step. Next up, we'll come in with the lever all the way open. We're gonna go up about half an inch. We wanna keep this a little bit tighter on this haircut. So a half inch for this guideline and then we can start to work the line out. Next step, clipper closed. I know this client's hair well, so I didn't have to come back in with my slim line. I know that the clipper closed on this will accomplish what we're trying to do. After the clipper closed, we'll use the lever halfway open to connect the rest of this section together. After that, on this cut, guys, I'm gonna fade down the rest of the cut. So right now we have a number two closed. I'm flicking into the four that we started with. You guys can see I continue to brush the hair down to make sure that I have that connected from the two to the four. Very important, when you guys cut against the grain on this texture, it's gonna wanna stay up where you cut it. So you gotta brush it back down. After that, we'll follow it up with the one and a half halfway open. Again, guys, we're just working our way down. Next, we will do the one guard open. Now the shorter we get, the more risky it is flicking into that section. So we wanna make sure that we flick out with the one guard open. You can see this transition is coming together and then we'll finish it up with the one guard closed. Now that we have all that done guys, we're gonna go ahead and work through our steps again and just fine tune this haircut from the one and a half to the one to the half guard to the open clipper. And you guys see my man laughing right there. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a heads up. I was explaining to him the next video that I'll be doing. And guys, I'm gonna be reading some mean comments on a video that I have. And you can see he is just cracking up. The comments are hilarious. So you guys stay tuned for that. It will be out Sunday. Moving on to the back taper, same steps as before, slim line at the bottom, we'll go ahead and bald it out, then we can come in with our shaver and get it all the way down. Next step, of course, same as always, lever all the way open. We have a little bit more room back here, so we're gonna do about a three quarter inch guideline. Then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. Now we're gonna use the same exact system that we always used. Clipper closed at the bottom, clipper halfway open, halfway into the section. Very important, you guys can see, no matter the hair texture, I'm gonna follow my same steps some of the approach is different sometimes, but the same steps, we're gonna get a consistent blend every time. Thanks. 
So just like the side tapers, we're gonna go ahead and start with our number two and flick into the curls above. You guys can see we're basically gonna use the shape of the head and at the occipital, we'll go ahead and flick out into that round shape that we created with the foreguard. We'll continue to work our way down, coming in with a one and a half halfway open. Again, same steps as the side taper. After the one and a half, we can go in with a one open and we'll start to connect this and see it come together. Now we'll come in with the one open and you guys are gonna see this bottom line start to disappear. After that, we can close it up and work on that bottom line and it should be pretty much together. If we need the half guard, we can use it. And guys, after that, we can come in and polish this. So you guys can see it's not flawless, but it is coming together. We just wanna get it established and then we can start long again with some long guards and we'll work our way through until we get all the dark spots out. So you can see now we're with the one closed. It's gonna take most of this transition and make it smooth. Anything that's left behind, the half guard will take out. Now we're gonna polish this side, so I sped it up a little bit. It's gonna start with our long guard, our one and a half. We're gonna polish up these dark spots. Then we'll move on to the one and work our way down until we're happy with it. All right, same steps on this side. You guys follow along. I got it going super fast. We'll get back together on the lineup, which is definitely best part of this tutorial. Now we're going to go in and line up around the ears. Pretty self-explanatory. We'll do the straight line down the back of the neck. I will use my middle finger to brace myself and rotate that or pivot that trimmer around the ear to make a nice clean line. If you guys pivot that and tilt the trimmer right, you can actually kind of freehand the fro that's overhanging the line. So you guys can see I do that. I also scoop out with the trimmer to help clean that up. Make sure I got a nice, clean, consistent line going around the ear. All right, moving on to the front hair line, I'm gonna use a comb, I'm gonna comb all the long hair up out of the way. Then I will hold the long hair with the comb while I brush the baby hairs down in the front. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some hairspray so I can spray some hair fibers on there. That'll just help the hair fibers stick. Just like to enhance his line a little bit. After I spray the hair fibers, I'll come in and hit it with another coat of hairspray. I think I left that out, but I did hit it with some more hairspray to make sure it was held. Obviously you wanna make sure the hairspray is dry before you come in and line it up. I know different people have different opinions on that, but for me, when the hairspray is wet, I definitely don't get as crispy of a line. So now we'll come in with the trimmers. We're gonna work a straight line from one side to the other, get the vertical bars nice and crispy. Guys, we do want a 90 degree corner, so you guys can see I have my straight across line and I'll come in and make that vertical bar a perfect 90. Then I can stand in front of them and work the line straight across to the other side and finish this edge up up. And you all can see the natural hairline underneath the fibers, but adding those fibers really makes that line pop. As you can see, as soon as I hit it with the trimmers, we just get that super sharp line. And uh, that's why I like to use them. I use nail drips sometimes, sometimes I use fibers. Uh, can't really tell you why I use fibers this time. I think I had a little bit more hair to work with. Of course, the nail drip really goes on the skin, or you can use both together. Sometimes I just use fibers because they're a little bit quicker. And sometimes I'll use both if I'm really trying to get the best enhanced line that I can get. He did at last second say that he wanted a little hook part up into his fro. So I'm gonna show you guys how to accomplish that after this. Nice. 
So these tremors luckily hit hard enough that I can just come in. I'm gonna start to kind of let the hair part itself. I'm just gonna turn them upside down like I'm doing a hard part and come in and get that line started. Now I can use my shears to kind of freehand the hair next to the part. After that, I brushed it out of the way so I can come in and get the line super sharp on both sides of the line. Then we'll come in and do some razor work after this and you guys can see he's definitely gonna be ready to step out after this. Now we're gonna come in and do the razor work. This is the 245 triple cartridge razor in the limited edition green. I am using the fully exposed that has the blade all the way out. I'm gonna dry shave him. Usually if I'm using fibers, I don't use shave gel because the two don't really go together very well, kind of mess up your fibers. And um, Because we've already gone over his head so much with the trimmer, there's not much hair for us to go across. So we're not gonna to cause too much irritation with this razor. So I'm just gonna pull the skin tight and get the line nice and sharp with my razor. Uh, and then you guys can check out the end result here. I'm also using my razor to get the excess hair fibers off of his forehead. So if it looks like I'm shaving more area than I need to, that's what I'm doing. I'm making sure that there's no fibers stuck to his forehead uh, before I let him leave the chair. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of pomade on here just to give it a little shine and a little bit of a finished look. I'm not gonna use a curl sponge. I'm just gonna use my hands to kind of get that natural curl to come back out. And you guys can see that's gonna bring it out just fine. All right guys, there's the before. If you didn't know, I was out of town for five days and quarantined for two weeks, so my clients were looking super rough, but we definitely got him back in there. Super sharp hairline, super sharp little part in the front with a nice blurry high taper. Hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more content like this. Make sure you guys check out Sunday's video where I read the mean comments on one of my favorite tutorials that I've done. And I'll catch you guys next time.